Hey guys, um, Noxious here. Just a quick tutorial on how to do use NS USB loader with Tenwu installer. And we're gonna assume you don't have Tenwu or um, NS USB loader to start with. So let's go to Google. So Google.ca. Then let's go ahead and search NS USB loader. First results on GitHub. Let's go check that one out. And this looks legitimate. So let's go to the releases section. There's V7.2 right now. Just download the newest version. Let's get the installer. Let's go ahead and save it into our downloads folder. And it already exists for me because I already have it installed. You can double click it and open it. And then, oh my god, I'm okay. So, go here, here, here. Perfect. Create desktop shortcut, everything. Now that you're here, you're going to want to choose AWU. You're going to want to choose USB and that's good for now now on the um we're going to switch over to the the switch one second so now we're on the switch you want to hit our album you, you want to be rooted in the atmosphere hit album and then go to tenwu installer so you, you're going to get an update potentially um update if you want to um let's go ahead and update this to the newest version mm. Hey, one sec. I just realized this console is missing something real quick. Bear right back. Okay, so hey guys, I just had to install a game really quick so we could use Title Inject. So, what you're gonna need to do is, is you're gonna need to use Title Inject, which you do by doing a right trigger, or not right bumper. Rather. So you want to hold right bumper while opening a game, and that will open up the homebrew menu in game mode like this. And then we can go over to Tenwu Installer, and then we can go to install via USB. And it should say it won't work on some devices, but as long as you're plugged into your computer via the USB-C cable, you should be fine. I got USB connection successful, and let's look at my middle monitor again. Um, if you're having any issues, go down to um, right here where this cog is, and do download and install drivers. And then just go through this, hit next, 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 install. Um, and then re-plug everything in. If it's still not working, restart, restart your computer and restart the console and then do it again and then until you get a USB connection successful. Um, once, it's, okay, once it's successful like mine, you'll want to do... Um, you want to add some files to an SUSB loader. So let's go get check this one and then let us hit upload files and then we can go over to the console again and it, it'll ask us what files you want to install you can hit a and then do install the SD card typically now it's it's installing for us at let's see is 40 megabytes a second what 50 megabytes a second great um, and that's actually an update file, not a game, so I won't be able to launch it after, but it, if it's a game file, it'll be available on your home screen to start after this. And um, that's pretty much it. Um, actually sourcing the game files, I kind of sort of have another video for on my channel. It's called How to Avoid Malware While Getting Backups from Google. Um, or if anyone wants to, uh, to I can invite to IP torrents or something, um, we can use that or um, here. I'll actually show you guys a trick on my PC right now. You can go to a subset called NX brew I think it's nxbrew.net. Yeah, nxbrew.net and um, I recommend having You um, lock origin installed and using Firefox and you want to find a game. So let's go to like XCI games and I know what just to go to search and just do Mario Kart 8 for example so then there's Mario Kart 8. Let's click into here. So let's get um
Oh, looks like I might have gotten removed. That's crazy. Um, that's wild. Usually all these work. Um, here, for example, these work. Just choose a different game. If it doesn't work, wait for it to fix, or you'll have to find it on a different method. Um, but uh, these seem to be working. Let me say download. And then you can download it. Open it with 7-zip if it's a RAR file, or 7-z, or a .zip, or anything. And then, whenever this is done downloading, you'd want to extract uh, the file. See, this one says success. It's successfully installed. Um, okay. It, it'll show me the game, but it's not actually the game file. It's just an update. But, um, yeah, it's really simple. Let's go back to the PC. So, we have that RAR file opened in 7-zip. We can just extract that anywhere. We could do, like, um, C games and then extract it there and then we can go over to here do select files and go to c games and then choose that file and you can remove that file and then upload this one and then you can go back to the thing the console i mean you install over usb and we can install this one no problem And you can just start the game. If you get bugs like this, it's just it, you, you might not be able to play this game. It might need to be patched, and it's not a patched version because this this one looks like it needs a Nintendo account. I think it has to be. You have to find one that's like patched that doesn't require it or something. But. Most games will work unless they're like eShop things, I think. I don't know. Just ignore that. You won't get that issue with the vast majority of games. Um, yeah, but that's how you use NSUSB loader with um, Tinwoo. Thanks for watching.